Robo Rambal. I am Riyansh Tripathi. I am Kabir. And I am Abhijay. We are delighted to have you here. We are participating in the Rescue Line Senior Category and we have built an EV3 bot which, which navigates the line without any problems and sorts the rescue victims. I was in charge of the construction of the robot. I built the base, the arms and the victim sorting system. I carefully adjusted each peg and axle to suit the needs of the bot. Our bot is stable, sturdy and has excellent weight management. This allows our bot to easily cross ramps, seesaws and other obstacles. I am Abhijay and I was responsible for making the line following program. Our bot is able to cross intersections, turn where appropriate, navigate inclines, traverse speed bumps and pass obstacles. Our bot is carefully tuned to deal with any situation, no matter how difficult. I've been programming since I was seven and I've recently learned to implement it into robotics. I'm Riyansh Tripathi and I'm the team captain. I was responsible for sorting the victims and I've made an EV3 program which helps in easily locating and identifying the victims. Once I've identified them, the bot helps in picking up the victims with a sturdy arm and then drops them and deposits them safely. I have also helped in sensor management of the robot so that we can get pinpoint values and help our bot go better and smoothly. But why have we prepared all of this? It's because our robot is in a simulated environment. It must transverse this winding path and overcome the various obstacles that stand in its way. It must learn to cross intersections, speed bumps, gaps in the road, inclines, dead ends, sharp turns, obstacles and hundreds of other threats. In addition, it must go to the rescue sites and successfully track victims, along with dropping them off at the correct evacuation points. The red one is for the victim that died and the green one is for the surviving victims. After that, our robot must successfully exit the rescue area and stop at the red line that symbolizes the pickup point for the rover. Now you may ask us how we did this. Let's explain it with diagrams. Our program is made on EV3 Student Edition where it is constantly checking for an obstacle to maneuver around. Otherwise, it would look for intersection markings and low reflected light readings that symbolize an intersection. If it doesn't find any intersection markings, but sees a low reflected light value, that means there's either an intersection or a sharp turn. The bot will then go forward to relocate the line. This allows it to cross these obstacles and get points for scoring elements. Moreover, it looks for a change in gyro reading to, to slow down on ramps, otherwise it would run proportional line following at a high speed. It then enters rescue and then scans for victims using the ultrasonic sensor. It identifies them and goes towards them to pick them up. The result is an immensely accurate and powerful rescue program that results in rescued victims with a perfectly followed line. Software is nothing without the hardware. Our hardware composition consists of various sensors and motors, including a mind sensor's gyro sensor to identify inclines and speed bumps, color sensors to detect the path to be followed, and ultrasonic sensors to detect obstacles and walls. Moreover, we use tank threads to maintain friction on inclines and speed bumps. And we use an arm controlled by a media motor to pick up and deposit victims into evacuation area. We use another media motor to place the victims in the evacuation zones. Furthermore, we utilize a plate to keep the victims from falling off the board. All of our motors and sensors are from the EV3 kit, a discontinued brand by LEGO that is probably the best kit for building a rescue robot. It is widely compatible with sensor kits like Arduino and OpenMV and other external sensors like mind sensors, gyro sensors. It uses a battery that can consistently provide a voltage of about 8.5 volts and lasts for a maximum of 3 hours. We have an excellent base design so that we can easily open the hatch in the base and place and swap our batteries. Our rescue program is a highly advanced program that hits the wall to detect exits while also utilizing the ultrasonic sensor to locate the victims and the exit point. Our bot will continue to find the exit while picking up the victims in its path. It will also touch the red and green evacuation points and discern and align to prepare for dropping. Afterwards, our bot will proceed towards the green evacuation point to drop off the surviving victims. But unfortunately, the dead victim also fell into the green evacuation point. 
To counter this, we plan to add a color sensor to detect the color of the victims for sorting. Our bot, having detected the exit from the ultrasonic sensor giving a value of 255 cm, will now proceed to the exit point using pivot turns and then it will catch the line to continue line following. Now our robot will start using red, green and blue values instead of reflected light values to successfully stop at the red line that symbolizes the end. Our RGB code features concepts similar to the reflected light code, so it turns at intersection markings, crosses gaps, traverses speed bumps and everything else. Fast forward and we see our EV3 robot climbing the ramp. The EV3 gyro sensor senses an incline and slows down to maintain accuracy on the ramp. When going down ramps, it will move backward and then catch the line again to prevent misalignment on the field. It will now cross the next three intersections, climb down the next ramp and then perfectly stop on red. This was the software, hardware and rescue composite program. We did not use any AI for the program, but we used mathematical formulas to calculate the average RGB values, the reflected light values from an RGB reading and a proportional line following formula. Hope you enjoyed this video and we hope to see you at Robocup Asia Pacific in this com coming November. This is Robo Rumble signing off.